Okay. All right, I clicked record. I'm going to have to edit that now. <laughs> Anyways, um, hi, everybody. Welcome to my class. Um, today, I'm going to be altering or making a Halloween-themed top hat. And um, it's not as... Um, you know, as high as I would want it to be, but I think it'll work out pretty good. Um, let's see, hold on, someone just texted me. Okay. People are asking for my, for my, um, uh, for the link. So, uh, give me one second, sorry. Um, Amy, if I don't know if she can hear me. Okay. Um, I got the hat. Um, actually, you know, Marianne, I don't remember where I got it. I think someone had sent it to me in Iraq. And luckily, I remembered that I had it there. But I know that they sell them uh, Hobby Lobby, um, whoever, paper mache stuff is sold. I think even like Oriental Trading. Um, this one here on the inside says Hobby and Craft. So apparently that's some kind of store. But it's a paper mache hat and... Um, also, um, let me see, I got some, I'm going to be covering it up, instead of painting it, I'm going to be covering it up with some felt, so I'm going to try and measure that as best as I can here in my small area. Um, it's so tiny here, and I'm like trying to, I tried to put everything that I would think I need for the class, but it's like I don't have that much room, so let's see if I can pull this off. So, um, and as I go, I'll just uh, show you what items uh, are from Deb's, uh, from Gun RT from Deb's shop. So I got quite a bit of black felt here. Let's see. I hope I can cut this right because I'm not the best at cutting. I know that I saw some some of these hats at um, at Joanne's, uh, but they were uh, the, the same kind. They weren't the the top hat. Um, let's see, I'm gonna do this. I have one of those measuring tapes that you can measure fabric, but I have no idea what I did with it. Go figure. Now that I need it. Um, so I'm just going to more or less measure as best as I can and then cut it. So I'm going to be using, um, which I'll just share with you some of the stuff while I'm doing other things here. I got these little spiders. They're, um, well, they're not so little. They're actually this big, but they're glow in the dark but I don't really, I'm, I'm going to paint them, so I like the size, that's why I got this size, because um, you know they have the little small ones, uh, but I really wanted the, the bigger ones, so all they had was the glow in the dark, glow in the dark ones, and also I'm going to be using the, those, um, this hat, not hat, this, um, uh, mask from Deb Shop as well. Um, so I'm going to be using that on there with some red feathers. So it's going to be red and black themed. And I made my own spray. Um, actually this one's my glitter spray because uh, I don't have any of the black ones so I just make my own. And then to make it shimmer I add the it's what we were talking about last night. I add the 
eyeshadows that you get can get at a dollar dollar tree so hi everybody if I haven't said hi to you um, I'm trying to look at the screen and trying to measure my my hat here it's kind of a bummer when you don't have your own craft room because you gotta squeeze squeeze with what you have let's see here cut it there and I was gonna try and do this earlier to prepare it earlier but I have an excruciating backache so that didn't happen I kind of wanted to prep my stuff ahead of time but I wasn't able to because my back was just killing me hi Elaine thank you for coming you're finally able to make it to one of my classes <laughs> Last time is because I canceled out of migraine. Then I'm just a total mess of a basket case. But I'm glad that you were able to make it. Hope I'm cutting this right. This was my whole purpose for wanting to. I wanted to um, prepare my my stuff ahead of time, but yeah, like my back actually feels like it's like inflamed, like my uh, the discs. Um, it was just really strange because sometimes I'll be fine and then my back it just. Because uh, I have arthritis on my spine, I was told I, I even have uh, degenerative disc problems. But my doctors, I don't know. They, every doctor I see over here tells me different things. So it's kind of I don't trust them anymore. I got to find a, a good doctor that that knows what they're talking about. Because I have fibromyalgia on top of that, so it's kind of a bummer. And it's already getting cold here where I live. Um, is it cold where you all live? Like, like I know a lot of you are from Florida. Um, Elaine, I don't remember where you're at. I'm in New Mexico. Uh, Kay Myers, I'm making a um, altered Halloween, um, well, Halloween themed like a top hat. So I'm, right now I'm just trying to get my felt cut because I didn't have time to prepare it ahead of time. So sorry it's taking me so long. Well, you guys are lucky if you guys live in a warm state because where I live, it's warm during the day and then it gets really cold at night so it's kind of a bummer I'm thinking of moving to to Arizona where it's warm all the time even though I don't really care for the heat but that's better than dealing with pain all the time Oh, you're in Ohio? Yeah, I've heard Ohio's really cold. <laughs> oh, yeah, Australia. Elaine, you're in Australia. Um, 
And it's actually Wednesday morning, right? Or Wednesday noon or something like that over there. Gosh, I can't cut this felt. This is driving me nuts. Sometimes I like to prep my work ahead of time, but I didn't have a chance to. And let's see. Just want to make sure I'm measuring it. I don't want it too perfect because I'm going to be putting a little bit of stuff for you, you know, like fabric and stuff. You won't be able to see it. So I just wanted it to kind of, I didn't want to paint it. So. No. Let's see. Almost. I don't do well with fabrics or anything like that. <laughs> so I'm sorry about it taking me so long to cut this. Okay. Like I'd rather deal with paper any day. Let's see. I'll just glue that there. And then I'll yeah, I'll glue that there. And I'll just cut it. I tell you, I'm like the worst person when it comes to fabrics. But I wanted to do this hat with felt um, instead of painting it. I got like three yards of it in case I messed up because I didn't measure the top real quick. I'm sorry I'm quiet. I'm just trying to concentrate on <laughs> cutting this to make sure I don't don't cut it wrong. You all can um, get to know one another if you guys don't know each other. Okay. Let's see. I think this is what I'll do instead. Just glue it there and then I'll cut it. That'll be way easier. I tell you, I'm like the worst person to go with fabric. I don't know what it is. I just, yeah, I even have a sewing machine and I've, I think I've only used it a couple of times and that was just a stitch paper. It wasn't even for fabric. Can you guys see, like, okay, like, my image looks all right? Um, I don't know why my glue gun decides to, usually it's always all hot, and now it decided to be a pain. So, let's see.
Also, I was trying to paint this um, feather that, um, well, I'm trying to spray it, that Deb carries in her store, but it doesn't seem to work out too well. I only did one of them because um, I wanted to use those feathers, and it would be nice if there was a way. Have you guys ever tried spraying like, like feathers before? Because I don't use water, I use alcohol inks on mine, so, uh, on my sprays, whoops. And so, um, see now my gun decided to overheat and drop stuff all over. That bugs me, well I'm going to cover that, so. Hey Amy, sorry you're still, I've been here who knows how long trying to cut this felt. It's annoying me already. I should have done it earlier, but Amy knows I was a mess earlier. The heating pad on and just feeling terrible so I couldn't prep my stuff ahead of time and I like to do that so that way you're not sitting here waiting, waiting on me. I feel bad. Last time I did a top hat was with paper. For um, for the gun artsy and that was way easier than this. I tell you that much. Hi, Itza. Thank you for coming. I don't. I'm trying to see who else here, but. I don't want to keep you guys waiting any longer than I already have, so I'm saying hi to everybody. And please be patient with me. I promise it'll be nice at the end. <laughs> be a nice project. I've never done one of these before, so that's why I didn't have like one uh prepped. I mean, I've done top hats, but not one like this, and I don't want to have to buy another one and make another one. So I, that's why I posted some pictures of some uh, from Pinterest of some ladies that had done some, so here we go. This is going to come off, so I hate the string from the felt, I mean from the glue gun. This works right for me the way I want it to. It's kind of hard when you've never done something before and you're like trying to to do it live. But I promise it won't take me all night long to do it. <laughs> Yeah, um, I've seen some people that do the top hats from scratch, and uh, I've been wanting to make one because when I did my paper one, I loved, I enjoyed doing them, and um, and so I've been wanting to do one out of scratch, and I want to do like a steampunk one, like with the leather look, with the I think they use like foam board or something, so. I've been wanting to try that as well, but 
haven't got to it yet. I think it's coming together, so at least I hope it is. So. Uh, did you see my class, G? No. Which which class was that? What, I mean, have you done one recently, or? I know I watch a lot of different Ustream classes, but I don't know, um, like, how long ago was it? This is coming out okay. So for my mess I made there and on the top. I feel really horrible of having to keep you guys waiting on me. But I guess this is the point of learning how to make it and what not to do. So now you guys know not to or cut your felt before you keep everybody waiting on you. That's my lesson learned for tonight. <laughs> I, I really don't like keeping people waiting. I just get anxious because I, I feel like I'm taking up a lot of time. Uh, Miss Deb sends her apologies. She's trying to make it to class. Uh, okay, well, I know how it goes. It's okay. I'm recording it, so... Thank God I remembered to record it because the first class I ever did I uh, for Deb, I didn't uh, record it. Actually, that was the Top Hat class that I did, and I didn't record it, and so that was kind of a bummer. Let's see. I think I'm going to have to cut a piece longer because this isn't working out very well. I don't mind it having that fold there because I'm going to be putting some um, branches and stuff on it. So I had my son outside gathering me some branches. So I either there was probably a way easier way of doing this, but. This is going to have to work for now. Um. Yeah, I, I, um, I want to um, try and do one from scratch. So, Amy, maybe we can both learn to do one sometime if we get a chance. Oh, this is bugging me. Well, I'll put that as the back. You know how it is when you make a mistake and you just put that one towards the back or the side. I do that. And I know a lot of you do it, so <laughs> I'm not going to feel so bad. Except, what the heck did I do here? I don't really want it all perfect because it's supposed to be like kind of creepy ghost type of, you know, Halloween theme. So I don't want it too perfect either. But I wish I would have, if I tell you, I wish I would have cut my felt way earlier. That way I would have had it all prepared and I would have just glued it on here and you guys wouldn't have to be waiting on me. So right here I'm going to have to cut another piece. Maybe it would have been easier for me to um, paint it, but 
I don't want it to be like all stiff, you know. <laughs> I stress. Ask Amy. Amy knows me all too well. I stress for the craziest things, the littlest things. Um, but like I say, in the end, it'll it'll come out better than what it's starting out like. And when I did that, uh, the paper, um, the paper top hat that I did. I um, I had done a tiny one before that, and so it was um, it was um, a little bit different to do a, a, t a taller one, but it wasn't as hard. So, but I've never done one like this, you know. So and having to cut the felt and whatnot. So, but. You know how sometimes you like picture something in your mind and how you think it's going to come out? Actually, the other day I was looking at this. Um, I don't know if you all have seen it. It's like this Pinterest uh, fails, um, like where people have tried to, to recreate, I guess you would say, recreate something from Pinterest, but it was like a complete fail. And it looked nothing, nothing like the, the photo on the Pinterest it was hilarious I was like oh my gosh I wonder if my stuff looks like that sometimes it was kind of funny though because it, there was this uh, person that had done a burlap um, it was a burlap um, wreath burlap wreath and and the one on Pinterest was really nice, you know, it had the wire and all that. It was just a really pretty wreath. And when they showed the epic fail of the person that did it on Pinterest, oh my gosh, it was hilarious. I was like, oh no. I don't, I don't even think I would have put a picture up of the one I did that didn't come out the way it was supposed to. It was just funny. <laughs> my my stuff never comes out how I picture it. and it, it's funny isn't it because it always seems like like it's gonna be easy like you're like oh that's that's nothing it's not gonna be hard except to do this and this and this and then when you're doing it you're like what the heck it didn't look that hard or it looked good on Pinterest that's funny so as long as this is just covered, I don't care how it's covered. I just want it covered in black. And I'm already here going on half an hour, but I'm already done doing this. And from here, it'll be nothing. So now let me just cut this. Sorry, I'm off camera. I just gotta see what I'm doing here. I'm just cutting the felt around. Okay. So, except for my big dot of hot glue there, I think it came out pretty good. Okay, now um, just on the top, I'm going to put some of this fabric. Um, Amy sent me this for my birthday. It has gold on the side, but I'm not going to use that side. I'm using this side. So I'm going to just put that just on the top. So no worrying about me 
sitting here for another half hour trying to cut material. <laughs> I like this fabric. I've never used it um, when Amy sent it to me, surprisingly, because I, I love the color black, so I use it on everything, but I hadn't used it. In the, I also like the gold on it, but I just, uh, I don't, I wanted to use the other side because it kind of looks like tie-dye. Um, My puppy's going crazy inside. My baby Simon. He likes always being with me in here, but he makes way too much noise. And his little bark is like a screech, so he had to go inside. Okay, so this is the top that I want. I'm not kind of going all crazy cutting it straight because I'm covering the edges with the lace from Deb Shop. So, okay. Um, thanks for coming. It'll be recorded. I hope your son feels better. Oh well, that's okay. So I'm gonna cover it. All right. So I'm not positive which trim I'm going to use yet, so that's why I'm... I don't have enough of this one. I like this color. I think I'll put this one on the bottom. I love this color. I don't know if it's going to match my other red that I was going to use. Does that look like it matches? Like it, I don't know, this, with this. For some reason this red looks more like a uh, orange reddish. I really like it because it has velvet. I got, got this at a thrift shop. Um, I'm going to have to have Deb sell some more red laces. So I think I won't use that one and I'll use this one and I'll spray this one black. Even though I do like the laces that Deb sells, because you know you can cut these up. Um, but I like a lot of I like black laces. Yeah, I think I'll use that one. So let me cut it there so I can spray it. I don't have any red, not that color of red spray anyway. Let's 
slide. I love, yeah, I like red and black too. Um, I'm going to spray this though real quick in my box here. Oh, I'm splattering it all over. Oh, what is wrong with my sprayer? I think I need to get a new, uh, and I hardly use this black one. But for some reason, this one is giving me a hard time. I think maybe because I added a little bit more glitter, so it was probably the the glitter that's it shouldn't because it's like a fine glitter. Let me see if this other one will work. Kind of bummed because I like the way this one sprays. See if this will work. This one works, but it's a little bit too. Um, it's a little bit too. Uh, I think I'm just gonna stick with the other lace that Deb sells. Sells, even though I wanted to use this one because I'm gonna make a mess. I don't know why it doesn't want to. <laughs> Sorry, this is just annoying me when the spray gets like clogged up. Okay, nothing seems to be working the way I wanted it today. So let me see here. So I'll just use this one. This is, um, I, I'm pretty sure that Deb still, still sells this one. I don't remember what it's called. So any of the moderators, if you all know what it is. Um, yeah, the my spray is alcohol, acrylic paint. Um, and I just put like a dab of clear, like a drop of clear, uh, like gesso or not gesso, uh, glossy accent. So that's what I use for my alcohol, and they usually don't. They usually don't uh, um, stay stuck like that. But I even rinsed out the little sprayer, but I don't know what's going on with it. I'm just having a hard time in my class today, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to use this one, and then I'll put the other one on top, is what I'll do. I should have put my little plastic, uh, my little uh, fingertip things, because I always burn my, my fingers. These little things, these ones are like lifesavers because I don't like burning my fingers. My fingers are already all dirty and I haven't even done anything. It's crazy. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know if that, I'm pretty sure she still sells this lace. I hope so. And uh, Deb Store will be back open, um, I think. The 15th or no it was Wednesday right tomorrow Wednesday or the 15th Thursday um, Rebecca I, I, I think you, you had said Thursday right the 15th
is really annoying me. I just like to use the hot glue so I won't stay so long, you know, um, so I could do it faster. But for some reason, it always just like seems to be backfiring on me. It's not coming out the way I wanted it to. Well, at the end of my class, it'll all the mistakes that I did won't be visible. Thank God. <laughs> So it's nice to use black because you can cover up all, all your messes. I hope you can see what I'm doing. All I'm doing is uh, hot gluing this trim. Um, around the edge here. Thank God that glue's not that hot. Sometimes that thing really gets really hot. So. And I have another glue gun that has like the settings, like the different, you know, the lower setting for laces and stuff. But it, it, for some odd reason, that one just doesn't heat up at all. It bugs me. So I gotta always have it on high. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I hate burning my fingers, man. It kills me. I, that's like, I hate it. And I have like this little, uh, thing, like a little, uh, pink little plastic thing that came with this, like a little set. And, um, I was looking for it all over, so I have no clue what I did with it. But it's just like to press down on the, on the, um, just, just to press down on the, you know, fabric or whatever you're gluing. But still it helps a lot. When I did my last class, it's that snippet roll, it worked really well. So, it's a little bit crooked, but there, I went ahead and put the, that trim here on the edge, where's my, there, put that on the edge, and then I'm going to put this one, I don't know if I'll put it on the bottom. So, I, I don't like about some of these trims that they have wire. This one came with a wire, and I don't like it. So I'm going to glue that one there. I don't know, where's my camera? I can't even see. I don't know if it'll look nicer there or up here. Where do you all think it'll look better? On the top there or on the bottom? Like not where the band is. I think I'll put it on the bottom. Let's see. I hope this turns out how I want it. Looks like it is, but it's just gradually it has to come together, right?
hope this is even making any sense to you all. <laughs> I know the way I'm thinking of it in my mind, but I need to have more confidence in myself, but I don't. <laughs> Actually, I love doing the classes because it helps me be a little bit more social and um, whatnot, but still I just have like a little bit of a low self-esteem. Let's see. I love this color and the black on here on this trim here is like velvet and it's like glittery it has like a little sparkle to it so it's really cute there we go So, so far, that's what I've done. Um, I might glue this part a little bit down, but I like the way it looks like that. Thank you, Elaine. Ugh, finally it's getting somewhere. Let's see now. Um, the spiders, let's see what I'm going to do next. Where's my branch? I do that now. Because I'm also, um, I had I'd gone to this class over at Fine Unicorn and uh, Jennifer, I uh, can't remember her last name, Schneider, I think. She was giving away these skeletons. Um, I don't know if you could see it. They're pretty good size. And some, some black cheesecloth. So those are cute. I'm going to use those as well. Um, but I can't find my branch that I was, oh, here it is, that I was going to put. I don't know, um, I'm going to move this out of the way for one. Um, I'm going to paint it with acrylic paint that way, um. I wanted it black. My gosh, I'm already going on an hour. Sorry, ladies. Usually I try and keep it at an hour, but the hardest part was that doing that whole felt issue. But I'll be done here fairly quick. All my other brushes were um, falling apart, my little brushes, so I, this was like the biggest one I had. Yeah, this is the longest class I've had, I think. Hmm. 
Okay. I'm going to dry it real quick. I'm glad you guys are liking the colors. I um I was gonna use orange with black, but I really wanted to use that red lace and uh, and then my mask with some feathers that I have. So um put that dry. Okay, set that aside for a little bit just in case it has finished drying. And then I will finish my spider. I was almost done with it when I had to start the class. Again, these are the glow, these, they're like glow in the dark spiders, but um, I, wanted, I wanted a big one, so I don't want the little tiny ones. I don't know if you could see. Sorry, I wasn't even on frame. So there's the spider. And I think I'll leave my skeleton that color. Um. I'm going to find what else I'm putting on it. So I have some die cuts here like this one. I thought these arms moved but I guess they don't. So I think I'm going to that's him sitting down over here on this side. Or maybe standing. Does it look good standing? That's how it'll look when it's standing. Maybe I should put them on top. Oh, that's what I'll do. I'll put them against the branch. Come on. Oh shoot, I broke my branch. Um, he's just going to have to go standing up because it looked kind of weird there. To pull my branch back on. My paint was a tiny bit wet still, so that's why it doesn't want to 
go on very well. I don't know about that little guy. Where's my mask? Keep losing everything. So I'm almost done, so. So I have these little feathers that I took I took them off of um I took them off of a, a um like one of those Nagori goose feathers. And I know that uh I don't know where I got this one, but um I think I bought them from a D stash. But I know that um Deb sells them and you can take them apart. So that's that's a good thing. As you could take these apart. I'm trying to do like a million things at one time, but that way I can finish on time. Because this is going to go attached to the hat. So that's why I don't want to put too much of anything else in case you were wondering <laughs> um does anybody have like any questions or anything I love this mask. I had um, used one for this uh, project I did for Graphic 45. It was a basket and um, I got, not a basket, a birdcage. And uh, I, I like the way it came out so I had this extra one. I like the mask Marianne did last night. Came out really pretty. Make sure that's how it's coming out so far. So those Nagori goose feathers, you can uh, take them apart. Um, I'm not sure which colors Deb's carrying now, um, but um, I know I still have like a tan color one and a white one. Um, Who was being a smart, a smart? Jean has a lot of, yeah, I do have a lot of puppies. <laughs> I have five uh, Maltese little puppies. And they are a handful. But they're my babies, they're like my kids. It's crazy how you can get so attached to puppies. So that's all I'm going to do there. I'm not going to put them all the way around. 
And let me trim off the edges here. I think that looks pretty even. Running out of glue. I go through like a bunch of glue sticks whenever I'm doing a class. I try to use like the longer ones, but for some reason they're I guess because they're thin they go a lot faster. So that's my mask. Let me turn it this way so you can see it. So there's the mask. And let me set it over here so I can finish doing what I was doing with my spider and the skeleton that we'll and then I'll be done. Let's see. So I'm gonna use some of this dark cheesecloth, just a tiny piece to go on the branches. See if I can twirl this around here. Kind of want it like twirled around the the branch here. But it kind of hangs off. But this branch that I broke off earlier is not cooperating. Let's see. Okay. So apparently I lost my spider somewhere. Oh here it is. I'm gonna put some some red paint on that. Trying to figure out where I want to put my spider at. I think I'll put it right there. You can't see, can you? There it is. <laughs> I might glue this later on with some uh, 
E6000 or, or the um, glossy accent because I don't know if this is going to stay. Here's that. So that's that's how the spider. I don't know if you can see the branch all too good. But once I take pictures, it'll hopefully it'll look way better and it'll come to life. Let's see. And I'm putting these little roses. Um, trying to figure out where I want them. Let's see here. I think I'll glue this right away to my hat. If I get the glue out, maybe I use this instead. The other one's a lot sturdier, but I might have to put some hot glue so it'll stay until I until the glossy accent um, dries. But it looks like it's centered there. But I don't know. I think it'll burn the the plastic that's on this mask. Put some of the edges where the ribbon is, and I'll just have the ribbon hold it instead. Sorry. So that's not going to stay. I mean, it'll stay, but I'm going to sit here holding it. Um, I was going to use a fabric tag gaming, but, um, I don't have it on hand, so <laughs> I tell you, I wasn't prepared at all. I mean, I, I thought I was, but the glossy accents always holds. But I mean, I, I think it's just as bad as the uh, not as bad, but it's just like the glossy accent, the Fabri Tech. It takes a while to dry. So I think that looks straight. To me it does, but I don't know. What do you all think? Does it look straight? Like, let's see, where am I? Right there. Except for the, does that look all right? Oh, it won't melt? Okay, so then I'll apply some more down there because um, I wasn't sure if it would melt because then it's like a plastic because you're not going to see it anyway so alrighty thanks Marianne um, let me see now let me just put my my um, roses and I think I'll be done oh I didn't put my skeleton but I'm not sure about him yet
Oh, I know. I thought of that, Elaine, after I removed it. I, was just, I said, it looked like a spider web. I should have left it on. I'm spacing out, I tell you. I don't know where I should put my skeleton. I really want to incorporate it, but it's like I don't like the color of him. See, it's like brown. Let me show you what it looks. See, it's like brown. And so far, this is what it looks like. Let me, um, so there's the, where's the camera? So there's a cheesecloth, there's the branch, um, there is the mask. And then, um, I'm actually going to be putting this on on this boot that I um, it's actually a shoe that I built into a boot this right here and that is actually going to be like my I guess like my stand for it for my uh, but I, I need to decorate it but um, let me see if I can, I don't know if I can move my camera. Hold on one second. You see my disaster zone of a area? I apologize. Hold on real quick. So... This, let me show, this is how it's going to, how it looks. I'm sorry about my background, but, <laughs> hold on. I just don't want to get you guys dizzy. Okay, so there it is. Is that my upside down? Sorry. Okay. So, where is it? Am I blind? Okay. Let me turn off my light so you can see it better because my light's really bright. Okay, let me back up here. So, that's what it looks like. It's on, I have it right now on the boot. And then, this is what it'll look like sideways. Can you all see that? So I just took my webcam off so you could see it. Uh, what does it say? Sit him at the hat trim. Okay. Yeah, I think that that's what I'll, that's what I'll do. Because you're talking about like maybe like, hold on. Maybe like around here on the side where the, right here where the, where did I do with him? That's the skeleton guy. And my room is a disaster, so I can't. I'm trying to hold up the. Something like this, maybe. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Let me sit in there temporarily. Yeah, I think that'll look good there. Okay, now I'm going to shut this camera, not shut the camera, but put the camera back because um, I have to tape it on to my, to my mess here because I don't have a, I don't have a thing for it and what the heck, 
what happened here. Sorry, guys. Usually it holds, but for some reason now it's just being a pain. All done. I have like a crazy contraption here that I had to set up to put with this camera because I didn't like it the way it was the other way. So there. I figure that's where it goes. All right, so um, I hope that you all um, like the project. Sorry it took me so long. Um, I think I'm going to glue this skeleton on here right away. That way um, you all can, can see it. Except I had two skeletons and one of them was one of them was kind of um, had way too much um, what do you call it uh, had way too much like string attached to it and it was like in knots and stuff so let me glue this real quickly to the branch against the branch hi Deb I'm running a little bit over time because I took forever to cut my felt. <laughs> you know how I am with fabric. I'm not the best. So, okay, I, I glued the, the little guy back on. So, um, let me show it to Deb real quick. If she's still here, I hope so. So that's my stand, which is my boot, which I'm going to fix up. But um, I use that mask from your shop. Thank you, Elaine. Thanks for coming. No worries. I'm recording that so and then trust me it took me a while to get it together so I that's what I did and um, I'll try and uh, fix it up a little bit more decently looking um, this fabric this trim I'm not sure Deb if you carry it or not um, but I used it on here and um, the mask I used as well so, um, I was, like I said, I'm still going to add more stuff to it, and um, I hope that I didn't keep you all too long, and thanks for, for um, joining me in my class, and for being patient, because it took so long. <laughs> so... Alrighty, well, I'm going to stop recording, and um, like I said, thank you all for coming, and um, I'll kind of fix it up a little bit better, and I'll send some pictures, and uh, make sure I put my skeleton right over here, so I hope you all liked it, and um, got some ideas what you can do with with it, your, your hat for Halloween as a display. I'm using mine as a display, so thanks everybody for coming. Bye.